Hello, my super beautiful, lovely, gorgeous souls. It's Lizzie the Lightworker here. Welcome, guys, to my channel. Today, I'm bringing you guys a reading for Libra and Sagittarius. We're in Libra season, and that's why we're seeing lots of Libra videos from my channel. That's the way I like to do it, and um, also like to include that if you guys are interested, there's a link in the description box for a twin flame group I started on Facebook. So it's interesting. People are, you know, sort of expanding and meeting and talking about their experiences. So I am no longer doing these with gender assignments like divine female, divine male, Sagittarius, divine female, Libra. It's however it resonates to you, however the messages come to you, whatever, you know, makes sense to you is what's meant for you. Okay. So don't be concerned with, I feel more like the female Sagittarius, but I'm really a male Libra. Don't worry about it. It's however it um, is meant for you to, uh, you know, resonate with. Also, it could also mean that you may not be, just because you're a man, masculine. You might be the divine feminine, okay? So just keep that in mind. So let's get into this, and this is going to be for separation energy. So separation energy, what has Libra been doing? Our divine Libra. So I feel like they've tried to move on in separation and it's been so hard for them. I feel like they know they need to do this, but they have had an incredibly difficult time um, sort of releasing baggage, forgetting the past. I feel like they're very stuck. They're not sure, you know, how to proceed. I feel like, you know, they could look the ending in the face, but they're not sure how to, you know, how to proceed from it. So difficult time. I feel like this has been very burden burdening sort of to them, sort of like a lot of stress has led them up to this ending. OK, and accepting this ending. But, you know, I feel like they know that new beginnings are around the corner. They're just afraid to take that next step. So what it is is that sometimes, you know, our twin comes in and activates us in ways that we're not ready. They show us things that we don't want to look at. And it feels like literally the weight of the world is weighing us down because we're just afraid to look at the things that, you know, need healing. So that might be where Libra's at. They might be a little bit stuck and stuck in their energy of maybe not wanting to change or accepting the fact that, you know, this might have to be over for now because the start of a spiritual journey needs to happen. And I feel like there's some resistance to it. It's like, you know, I've put my all into this. I don't know how much more I can put into this. You know, I just can't go on right now in this moment. It's too difficult. It's too difficult for Libra to go on. Um, so they, I mean, really, Libra, you need to sort of reevaluate everything, sort of look at everything and take one day at a time, take one step at a time. It seems overwhelming. Your emotions, your passions are all sort of being woven into this twin flame separation. So it's not easy. It's not easy. But the first part of it, I feel like you have done that is accepting that it has to be this way for now. Okay. So I do also feel like there's things that you know you need to fix and work on, but you're sort of like just tired and, and feeling like, you know, you can't go on and you're overburdened. And like I said, there's things that, you know, have to happen. So there's things that, you know, you might have to just take your time with and sort of let them surface to you. And when they do, don't put them on the back burner. Try to deal with them with a brave sort of new attitude, okay? That's really what is needed to happen here, sort of like a wake up, like a needing to awaken. And also dropping all the baggage of the past and all the shit from the past that doesn't even matter anymore. I feel like your twin came in and they made you feel like your old life and your old friends and your old people and everything didn't even matter anymore. Only they matter. Okay, so I feel like you're very much um, holding on to that and holding on to like those last memories of when it was good with your divine Sagittarius. Okay, let's get some of Sagittarius energy now. We need that, definitely. Okay, so in separation. I feel like in separation, they're definitely working on themselves. Sagittarius is working on um, their self. They need to have like... I feel like more financial security. I feel like that's very important to them that they need to sort of feel and be established before that they can really commit to anything romantic. I don't feel like they're pursuing anybody else at this time. To me, I feel like they're sort of staying to themselves and working on their career goals and financial setting goals, if that makes any sense. They are definitely 
trying to move on to, but I feel like there's things that I feel like their passion for divine Libra is, is holding them back a little bit. There's some passion there that they haven't gotten to express completely, but they're working on it. Okay. I feel like they're working on expression. That might've been a problem for them in the past. And I feel like having a family and having like the ability to provide for a family is important to Sagittarius. Okay. I feel like there's nothing they wouldn't do for somebody that they love or that they're passionate about. But for Sagittarius, I feel like they need to determine the difference between real love and what's lust. And that might be an ongoing thing for Sagittarius. It could have certainly disrupted this union. Um, if they had their sights set on something else or, or sort of, they might've been a little further down the line than Libra. Okay. And when you, one twin is a little further down the line, it can definitely separate the two of you because you're not seeing eye to eye and you're not on the same page about things and the energy will get thrown off. Because don't forget, we're trying to fix ourselves. We're trying to heal ourselves. We're trying to perfect ourselves in the energy of divine union. We are each other. We're each other's perfect mirror. So sometimes when you run from your twin, you're really running from yourself. So you have to ask yourself, what are you running from? Or what are you fearful of? What haven't you done that scares you? Um, you know, why are maybe you in a stagnation energy? Or why do you go back to your old patterns? Twin flame union is supposed to sort of slap you in the face to not want you to go back to old patterns of comfort. Things that, you know, you find in your comfort zone that might be unhealthy. So that could be a little bit of what's going on here. But yeah, I feel like Sagittarius needs to have some type of planning. You know, they feel like they need to have their shit together solid and they have to sort of pursue their passions. Okay, whatever those passions are, they have to pursue those passions. They're definitely a man on the move or a woman on the move. Divine masculine or divine feminine, they are definitely on the move. Okay, they feel like if they don't accomplish things, quickly because their their passion will fizzle out quickly like if they have an idea to do something accomplishment they got to get it done fast or else they're going to fizzle out their energy okay so that could be the same with the twin flame union they could have wanted instant gratification and fast 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 and it wasn't happening that way so those are some things to examine in twin flame separation yeah, so I feel like someone definitely felt left out in the cold here. And I'm getting a little bit of a feeling like it might have been Libra. I don't know. I mean, it could be either or. But I'm feeling like somewhere there was definitely some type of problem that led them to both feel like they were out in the cold or they were robbed of something or they were, you know, fighting for something to be. And sort of not really accepting outside advice or outside help, okay? So yeah, I'm feeling like that could be a little bit of the now. I also feel like there was financial constraints. I feel like there was issues with money that were, I mean, and we think that that would not interrupt divine union, but it, it does. Because we need we do need to learn lessons with money and saving and um, poverty and, and, and sort of, you know, those types of things. So yeah, a little bit of that, I feel like and sort of struggling, struggling to move on and struggling to, you know, get themselves back together or get back to themselves. I feel like that's long gone. And that could be for both sides of this. Both these two energies could feel like they've lost a part of themselves that was supposed to go. And they're still trying to maybe revert back to those old ways. That's kind of what I'm picking up. Yeah. And I feel like the need for structure. So, Okay, I feel like the need for structure is very strong here. It's more about routine, structure, building a future, building a life, sort of being disciplined. Those, those elements are here because I feel like that's what the union needed and it may have been lacking that. And it may be part of the reason why they're supposed to be separated and go on separate paths to learn these lessons, to sort of toughen up, to sort of, you know, prioritize things in life. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. Definitely. And I do feel like there is, or could have been, and maybe could still be if they reunite some, some sort of power and control issues. Okay. I feel like one of these energies wants to be in control. It may be Sagittarius more than Libra. 
I feel like one of these energies has to feel like they're the power point, per, like they're the point of power, if that makes any sense. Like in the relationship, the dynamics will revolve around one party. They'll be the one to try to make decisions or make suggestions or dictate the way the relationship should be going. Okay. So one of them is definitely in that energy. And it may also be, like I said, the need to learn responsibility, dependability, and sort of structure, okay, in a relationship. Yeah, we're getting a sort of betrayal here or a sort of like something that went wrong that was like against sort of what they thought would be, okay? Three of Swords to me is always a third party interference. I don't know if either of these two were involved with someone else and that, you know, this is sort of like broken heart, maybe infidelity, maybe some cheating was going on, okay? That's what I'm picking up because to me, this is like trying to sort of heal from wounds that are still very tender, okay? So it could also just be a broken heart over the whole situation not working out the way that either of these two wanted it to, all right? I am feeling a little bit like Sagittarius is the runner. I'm feeling more like Libra is the chaser. So it could be the broken heart over that and feelings that were not resolved, things that were not said, things that either of them wish they could take back now. Harmful words, like words or weapons, okay? So I'm feeling like this is on the mend. This has forced them to probably to realize things about previous relationships. So sometimes those old wounds come and surface plus new wounds that you have over this now. But there's a lot of heartache here. And it's mental too. It's like thinking of things, thinking of the past, thinking of what could have went right. How could I have made it go right? It's about blame as well. I feel like Libra is really blaming their self here. I feel like Sagittarius is more like, you know, they had to let this go if it felt at all disorganized to them or at all that they couldn't control it. But there's definitely heartache here. Definitely. But it's on the mend, okay? So happier, healthier days, I feel like, will come. And releasing, okay? So I feel like these two need to completely release the past of what they know of each other, okay? Because they're entering phases where they're going to change. They're going to evolve. And I do feel like... I feel like Sagittarius will be the one to come back to reach out to Libra and Libra will be, I feel like a little more receptive than maybe they are now. Right now they feel sort of defeated. So yes, releasing, okay? And also hoping for a return. Libra is hoping that Sagittarius will return, definitely, okay? Now I'd like to get a couple of heal yourself cards out and I want to talk about one for each side here okay so Libra we're getting something that you need to heal that needs to come to surface that needs to uh, you know sort of be dealt with and we're getting letting go so I feel like Libra you need to let this whole situation go in order to heal from it and in order to reopen it up if that makes any sense it's like close one door and open a new one, if that makes any sense, okay? So completely letting go. Sagittarius, let's get one for you, baby. Okay, we're getting temptation. So there could have been outside temptations for Sagittarius. It could be that Sagittarius was in a relationship and they were tempted by their twin and a magnetic force drew them together. Or it could just be that, you know, they're just not settled in life or they're not ready to settle down or they're not ready for commitment. So temptation, Sagittarius, is something that you need to get a hold on because if you ever want to be happy and have a su successful relationship with your twin or anyone, even a soulmate connection, you're going to have to make Maybe work on that a bit. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed because you'll be seeing lots of stuff like this on my channel. And check my description box for private reading links and also for Twin Flame Separation group that I started on Facebook. Love you all so much and thank you for watching. See you guys in the next reading.